Good morning. Wendy from Bald Knob Farmstead. Hey, I brought back my old intro, which I love it, but I hate it when YouTubers like have long intros, which that was, but I thought I'd bring it back just for, why not? One time only, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Hey, it's Dece woo, December, <laughs> it's very slippery out. Uh, so we, we've got a few things going on actually. We are getting ready to turn the flock, but well, our flocks out together, both breeding groups. That's gonna be really fun. I am gonna be calling the veterinarian today before we let them out because we've got a few that have a little bit of a cough. Uh, they've developed a little cough. It's not bad, uh, but I definitely want to see if the vet thinks we should treat them with something before we turn them out because we can run them through the chute and treat them one at a time. Uh, but they're pregnant, hopefully. So that's, that's gonna be a little tricky. Uh, I know there's a few medications that actually induce abortions and I don't want that or miscarriages, you know, don't want that. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see. <laughs> that's Ashley. He was just chasing Terry. Terry's the olive egger. She's right there. He's a Aracana. <laughs> oh, chickens. I love chickens. And we just bought a, a new toy, a new old toy that uh, my husband's got to work on because it's not running currently. Anyway, so guys, my turkey, Mindy, is absolutely in love with me. She will not leave me alone for whatever reason. So... So I'm going to show you guys some trail camera videos too. Quick update. It's early. The, uh, it's Tuesday, December 1st. The sun just came up over the hill. So it's still pretty early. Um, and it is 25 degrees. It's freaking cold right now. So I got to break some water and, uh, good morning horses. So trail camera videos. We have a few videos that, uh, not happy to see because as you guys know if you saw my other video we lost our very very special fur family member a radar to coyotes and they're digging underneath the fence in the back so we need to address that quickly and so we also lost our ducks they came in they dug underneath the fence and killed our ducks so i'm going to show you guys some videos i also want to uh Kind of explain the video at the very beginning that is a video that my stinking rams got into a fight they do it all the time because Dwayne is an absolute pain in the neck right now he is currently for sale so if anybody wants him for fairly inexpensive uh, that has better fencing than us he's for sale contact me dm me facebook instagram messenger whatever uh so I couldn't upload it because the program I use on my phone is very simple, very basic. I love it to pieces. It's got a lot of great features, but it's easy for me <laughs> to navigate. The problem that I'm having though, is that once you edit a video through, um, I'm using my movie. Uh, once you edit a video, I can't figure out how to upload an already edited video to your video feed, to your new video. Can't figure it out. So what I had to do was I had to download everything to my computer and then upload it. And that's where I found my, my old intro. So I think I figured, yeah, why, might as well. So Dwayne was actually fighting with his son through the fence. And that has pretty much been the last couple months of our lives with his attitude. So anyway, okay. Show you the uh, couple of the recent videos from the trail camera you're gonna meet i think i've got a, a mouse a skunk a rabbit and that coyote that we're pretty sure uh we're pretty sure we have one little pesky coyote running around they we never see them in pairs we never see them together we only see one at a time and there's mindy mark and mindy hello not dinner they are pets Hello, are you gonna lay down for the people? Good morning. Put the camera down at your level here. Good morning, hello. Hello. Lay down on the snow, you silly girl. 
you silly girl. So in my, oh, it was so cold. She's so well insulated that she has frost on her back. Hello, pretty boy. Okay, I'm actually gonna walk, walk it. Where are all the sheep? Usually I'm being bothered. I can actually do chores without being bugged. So I think, even though these are domestic turkeys, I think I read somewhere, heard somewhere that they only really lay eggs like in the spring. They're not like chickens, they lay all the time. But she, I don't know, like, I, th I don't know if she's like in heat or I don't even know if turkeys come into heat, but she'll lay down like right in front of me and she'll lay down right in front of the root or the, um, uh, a mork. And I don't know why I, if anybody knows why, if you're a turkey person, let me know. Cause she's acting like she wants maybe to lay eggs or be bred. I, I have no idea. Anyway, so enjoy the videos. I'm going to catch you guys after the trail camera videos and pictures. I'll throw some pictures in there too, just to see. I'm coming. Some of our, uh, some of our wildlife. It's kind of cool. I, I don't dislike the skunks. Oh, there's ruckus. Um, so enjoy. I'll be back. I knew you'd be here. I don't like it when it's cold. It's been in the low 20s in the morning when I'm feeding and I don't like it. So today's the day. Uh, my vet finally got the medication in. So uh, I talked to him again because the sheep, a couple of them were coughing and now they're getting, you know, the green discharge and stuff out of their nose. And he's pretty convinced it's nasal bots, which is so weird. We've never had them before. Uh, my deworming protocol has always been uh, pretty effective really and for some reason I don't know I don't know why uh, why they got him <sighs> this year but uh, he's pretty convinced so uh, we're gonna put some medication in the water so it is what is it it is Tuesday morning it's about 8 o'clock in the morning and I am just heading down to work so as soon as I get off work I'm gonna go to the clinic and pick up the medication so um, everything is frozen. It's so freaking cold. Like the air, it's we have freezing fog. There is a sheet of ice on everything right now. Uh, but it's kind of pretty though, because look at the look at the trees. It's really pretty. So it's I mean it's kind of nice. Other than the the sheet of ice on absolutely everything out here, um, but it's it's kind of pretty. But so I'll be back shortly and then once these guys are all treated uh, with the antibiotic in their water and then the wormer or the dewormer, uh, we're going to get them kicked out into the pasture. So stay tuned for that um, and I'm going to work so <sighs> wish me luck. Okay so I finally I made it to the vet. I got home a little bit later. Work took a little longer than I expected. So I'm home now. <laughs> Uh, I'm home and I have a audience. Check it out. That's what I deal with when I come home. First thing. Very first thing. So, all right. So my vet, uh, we did get what I thought we were going to get. We got injectable um, dewormer. And we got this that looks like iodine, uh, iodine 
betadine. It's one ounce per gallon of water. So this is an antibiotic that we just throw in the water. It makes it super easy. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna be giving injections. My husband's on his way home and that's Mindy. <laughs> so, oh, excuse me. Yeah, um, I'm tired. It was a long freaking day today. Mindy. Hello. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to start loading uh, the syringes. God, I cannot think today to save my life. <laughs> so um, so basically it's, it's a cc per 100 pounds of body weight. So if we have 150 pound sheep, they get 1.5 cc's. Now we're, we're doing a best guess. So uh, the rams, they're probably upwards of 200 to 220 pounds. The ewes, most of them are probably maybe within 125 to 150 pound range. We have uh, one that's a little smaller and then we have one that's a little bit bigger. So we're just going to um, best guess and then adjust accordingly. So uh, I'm going to wait till my husband gets home and then let the chaos ensue. That's the next thing you're going to see is hopefully not a rodeo because I'm too tired to tackle sheep. So we'll see how that goes. Have a an audience. Hello, Dwayne. You pill. I'm Mel. There's Maddie. Or not Maddie, uh, Mabel. So this is what we're trying to combat. So you see the goopy nose. It looks so gross. Uh, so that's what this is for. So I actually, there's two ounces of medication in there. It's just an antibiotic. And I put a plastic bag over the water and I need to scoop out some water because that's a heated water bucket. So my idea is scoop out a little bit of water, put this bucket on top of it. So they're not drinking the undiluted water. They're just straight drinking the medicated water, but it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna stay thawed out. I have the other bucket for Dwayne's group up that way, up the, uh, the pump house. So I'm just trying to get ready for my husband to come home because I want to make sure I get everything done by the time he gets here, or set up anyway. Eventually, we are going to have a real barn here for the sick pen. I want to move the chute down a little bit, and I really want to get one of those. Um, uh, it's like a squeeze chute, squeeze uh, area. It's like a it's a tub, so it's like a half of a circle, and it just swings in and kind of compresses the sheep so they know where to go. So the pen gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Here, I don't have that. Hi, Skip. Hello. You have water in your mouth, you sick pig. Ew, yucky. So here, I have to put this gate up every time, put everybody in here. So if I have a sick sheep that we're treating, I have to put another gate here. This gate is acting kind of as our squeeze. So I'll shut the other gate and then close this on them. I gotta get the hay out of the way, clearly. But close this on them so I can have two or three sheep in the chute at, a same, at the same time. I would rather have five or six sheep in the chute at the same time. So I really wanna get that tub so bad, so bad. I, I'm gonna be doing sheep for a while, so I want that tub super, super bad. That way I can keep my sheep that we're treating away from the sick pen so I can keep that separate, but just to, it'll just make life so much easier. And I could probably sort these guys mostly by myself. I do it by myself sometimes, but I don't want to. It's a, it's a real pain in the neck with what we've got here. 
So, and a couple of our sheep, uh, the brown sheep, oddly enough, the brown sheep with horns will jump this fence. They will clear it. They will gazelle jump it just whoop, right over the top. So I want to get an actual pen set up. So, okay. So what I did, uh, so these guys here, they have this whole bottom area too with a round pen and this whole area. So I just shut the gate, brought them in a little bit smaller. When my husband gets home, we'll bring them all up here, get them all into this pen and then get them vaccinated. Get them their uh, dewormer. Dwayne. Then we're going to kick them back out there, shut the gate, bring Dwayne's group into this area, run Dwayne's group through, and I have a, def a, a makeshift deflector gate. Oh, well, it opens when the gates or when the chutes open. So I have the deflector gate. They can go this way. They can go that way, uh, which I will have a, an actual deflector gate. It's on my wish list, but... Man, this stuff's expensive. Uh, so I'm going to get that done. And then they're going to be in this little pen behind me. Then we'll kick Dwayne's group back out. Everybody will be great. Then they're going to be on their medication for a few days, the antibiotics. And what? He is just looking to cause trouble. <laughs> You are such a brat. So, okay guys, I, I gotta go get warmed up before my husband gets here. And I went to the dentist today and boy, I'm not feeling good at all. Like, not Corona, don't lose your minds. But I, he had to give me so much Novocaine. And I don't know, I when I left, I was kind of trembling. I was shaking a little bit and I'm kind of nauseous and kind of feeling weak. And I've never had that before. I've, I've never felt like that before. So. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not feeling up to anything, but this has to be done. So they, they come first, of course. So hello, Herman. Hi. Okay. So we did not get to doing the sheep last night because my husband dilly dallied on the way home from work. So he got home when it was almost dark last night. So I'm going to take it upon myself to get half of the flock vaccinated before he gets home. And then I'm going to have him help me with the rest. So uh, I think I can do it by myself. It's not that hard. This group is really calm. Um, but yeah, I'll get it done.
the vaccination. So my husband and I only did two. So the sheep are very comfortable with me. So we had two of them that uh, they didn't want to come in. Maddie and Beautiful did not want to come in when my husband was here. So uh, when we get everybody turned out, I'm just going to kind of bait them in with a uh, grain or something when my husband's not here and I'll just take care of them myself. So we ended up, or I ended up doing uh, uh, Mabel and Ruckus because they just walked right in. So I didn't have the camera running. Uh, I did a part of it for Mabel, but uh, the footage was terrible because I didn't have my camera stand. So they're all done. They're all happy. It's starting to snow. It is eight o'clock in the morning and I'm heading to work. So uh, until next time, guys, I will catch you or you'll catch me. I don't know. At some point it's kind of slow, a little bit dead. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on. I don't know. Same old, same old. Have a fantastic day. Happy holidays, everybody. And I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of the year. If you don't hear from me between now and 2021, 2021, put it in your mind that it's going to be a great year. It is what you make it. So even though there's a bunch of crap going on in the world right now, depends on how you handle things. I'm going to stay positive. I hope you do too. Love everybody. Like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see on my next video. All right. Till next time.